Everyone, so far, most areas have seen quiet weather on the radar, except for the coast. We have been seeing some spotty showers early this morning along the coast, and now late this morning, early afternoon for eastern Wallace County, as well as central Cameron County, pushing off to the northwest. We're going to keep in a chance for a few more showers and thunderstorms thanks to the sea breeze this afternoon, mainly for the lower and mid valley. But we're only talking about a 20% chance of rain or so. It is a hot one out there. Temperatures right now 95 in McAllen, 90 in Brownsville, 94 in Harlingen, 91 in West Laco. Humidity is 50%. We've got winds from the south at 11 miles an hour. So here's that day planner forecast. The temperature should be in the mid 90s at 3 p.m. with a chance of a spotty shower or isolated thunderstorm. 92 at 6 p.m. And 84 degrees at 9 o'clock this evening. It'll be warm and muggy for tonight. And yes, there is that chance for some patchy overnight fog. So we're tracking the tropics here at Channel 5. Here is Hurricane Jose. It's a minimum category one hurricane with maximum winds of 75 miles per hour. You notice something about this hurricane. It's taken on a comma shape. That means it is taking on some extra tropical or losing some tropical characteristics. There's some dry air coming in on the backside of Jose. That's why you're seeing this comma shape uh, pattern on the satellite picture. Now, Jose nonetheless will still be a big problem or a problem for people along the eastern coast of the U.S. from mid-Atlantic all the way to New England. And in fact, tropical storm warnings are in effect now for the Massachusetts and Rhode Island coasts uh, thanks to Jose. So here's the forecast tracked in the Hurricane Center. And even though the center is expected to stay offshore, we will see high ocean swells and heavy surf along the mid-Atlantic to the northeastern U.S. coast because of this system. Jose moving to the north and curving back to the northeast and the east and then weakening to a depression later on this week into the weekend. However, here is Hurricane Maria. Maria is a Category 3 hurricane with maximum winds of 120 miles an hour. And the people in the islands in the Caribbean who have already been uh, dealing with Hurricane Irma are about to see Hurricane Maria, unfortunately. Maximum winds 125 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest to 10 miles an hour. So here are the Lesser Antilles. Hurricane warnings in effect for the Virgin Islands. Hurricane watch in effect for Puerto Rico. And this is the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center, taking Maria toward the northwest, then more of a turn to the north northwest. There is still some uncertainty with this forecast, but we don't expect Maria to be a problem for the Gulf of Mexico. But by Saturday, Maria should be in the uh, uh, vicinity of the Bahamas. Let me show you the forecast spaghetti models. And most of the spaghetti models want to take Maria toward the northwest, then toward the north northwest, perhaps between the Bahamas or the western Atlantic Ocean. Back home in the valley, for us, the hot and humid pattern will continue with winds from the southeast at the surface. Model hints at a chance of some showers or thunderstorms, some spotty showers or thunderstorms around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Things should be quiet tonight. Maybe a coastal shower in the morning tomorrow. Then another chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms. We're calling for a 20% chance of rain today and 20% for tomorrow. On the water, we'll have winds out of the southeast to 10 to 15 knots in the seas or 2 to 4 feet. The bay waters are moderate chop. 20% chance of rain today. Highs in the mid to upper 90s with triple digits for the upper valley and McAllen. Then for tonight, patchy late fog possible with low temperatures in the upper 70s. Here's that seven day forecast. The high temperatures continue in the mid to upper 90s each day. 20% chance of rain tomorrow, followed by a 10% chance of rain Wednesday. We're back to a 20% chance of rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's your first four and five forecast. Now here's Gabby.